Today we're going to look at timers. Timers can be found within the more page and then we'll select timer from the top. As you can see I don't have any timers created right now so I'll go ahead and select add a timer. I've now been prompted with the default settings which was turn on the timer at 9 o'clock in the morning and turn it off at 9 in the evening. The scene has not yet been set and the fade in time is currently set to one second. It's important to note that that is the fade in time and the fade out. It's automatically enabled but if you decide to you can disable the timer rather than have to actually delete it. So let's look at the switch on section. As you can see the default is to turn the timer on every day of the week at 9 o'clock. But let's pretend this is a shop which is only open from Monday to Friday so we will remove the Saturday and the Sunday but we'll leave 9 o'clock as it is. I'll select done. We now have a timer that starts on weekdays at 9 o'clock and instead of turning off at 9 o'clock I'd like it to turn off at 5.30 from Monday to Friday when everyone's gone home. You can then select multiple scenes but you have to select each scene at a time so select add a scene. Just for demonstration purposes I'll first add my green scene and then select done. I'll now add a second scene and white and done. So now both of those scenes will start at 9 o'clock in the morning. They are both set to 100% dimming level, but if you choose to, we can select one and dim them independently. So you don't have to use the full dimming range of the scene. One important thing to note about timers is that when you create a timer, it's working for the future. Therefore, in the current setup, if I created a time, this timer that starts at 9 o'clock and ends at 20, 9 o'clock in the evening, it will not start until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So timers always work for the future. If you create a timer now at lunchtime, which will normally start in the morning and end in the evening, it will not automatically turn itself on. It will only turn itself on in the future. I'll now create a new timer. This time, instead of using an actual fixed time, we'll use sunrise and sunset. Before you can use sunrise and sunset, it's important to make sure that you have set a network location. You can do that in the network setup. So for this particular timer, we'll start the timer to come on at after sunset. Let's say 30 minutes after sunset. So the light will come on in the evening, every day, 30 minutes after sunset. And you can see there that it's currently saying for today in my area sunset will happen at roughly 10 to 11 in the evening. I'll select done. We'll then turn the lights off. Let's say 30 minutes before sunrise. So now we have a timer that will work based on Sunrise, uh, sunset and sunrise. Another option is for you to allow to use a, to, you can actually specify a specific date and time. You can use this for the start and the stop. And one last thing, you do not actually need to always have a start time and a stop time. For example, you may be in a situation where you want all of your lights to come on at 9 o'clock in the morning, regardless of the situation. For that specific reason, you wouldn't need um, an off, so you can slide it and Android hold it down and select remove or delete. So here this would be a timer that just simply triggers the lights at 9 o'clock in the morning every 24 hours. Likewise, you may not need to use the on uh, timer in some uh, on switch in some cases. For example, 
Um, if I work in a shop, I might like to turn all of the lights off at 6 o'clock in the evening, every day, to make sure that nobody leaves the lights on. For that reason, I don't need an on time. I can get rid of it, because I only need the off time in order to turn the lights off. So the timer will turn the lights off automatically at 6 in the evening.